Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Hello, hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. Good. How are you? Fine. Okay, who would you have today here? Fernando, Daniel. Okay. Nobody's What's waiting. up, coach? Yeah, same old thing, boys. Same old thing. They say same old thing, different day. Okay, so we have Evelyn Jensi. Yeah, it's coming in too. Okay, we'll go to <clears throat> So what's the matter today? It's Friday, the body knows. Yes, and the computer too, because it doesn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> My computer is slow, it's taking forever. Okay, no, no but it's, it's getting ready, it's starting now. Yes, the body knows it, you know, Friday. Okay, but uh, if you, because you are a good student, because you are a very, it's a very nice group, okay? Next next week, we're gonna have a study, we're gonna study only four days, Monday through Thursday. We're gonna have Friday off, okay? Then this is the last, Friday that we're going to do the first and last. Next uh, next week we go back to the normal schedule, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay, so yesterday we stopped. We know talking, 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 talking about uh, body parts, right? And feelings. Okay, I'm going to play back this one just for you to remember the the topic and vocabulary and pronunciation okay emphasis the pronunciation just listen hi everyone in this class you're learning how to express wait, different wait, wait. illnesses for example we need the sound do that too I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. 
terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Okay, here. Good. Now, uh, questions about vocabulary? Homesick. Any, or any expression that you consider is uh, new or difficult to pronounce? I think um, probably just awful, right? Awful, then uh, sick, terrible, miserable. Miserable, fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. Okay, so these are the ones. Then, now that we have these expressions, remember, it's very clear the idea that have plus noun, and then we have feel plus one of these adjectives, and then we have positive and negative adjectives. Okay, uh, Evelyn, Mariela, would you please read the, um, let's see the lesson objective here, please. Okay, uh, listen to the conversation. Where do these people hurt? There may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. Okay, very good. So then this is what, where do these people hurt? What is the pain, right? What is the problem that they have? Then you're going to listen to this people talking conversation one. Uh, we have head, neck, throat, different parts of the body. Conversation two, we have hip, back, and the elbow. 
conversation two, we have two mouth chin. Conversation four, we have wrist, eyes, and hands. Okay, let's listen. Okay, let's open it here again. Okay, this is listening. Page 80, exercise four, listening. I have a headache, part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes. And my wrists are sore, too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. OK. See if you have a good memory. OK, conversation one. What is the problem, head, neck, or throat? Head and throat. Head and throat. Okay. And the second one? Back oh. and elbow. Elbow. Back and elbow, right? So you can see here the back and the elbow. And this one? Mm. Mouth. So? The mouth? Or a tooth? Uh, tooth. Tooth. Okay. Toothache. And this one? Rest, eyes, or hand? Rice and eyes. Rest? And eyes. All right. Wow, people. Very good. That's what I call teamwork. Okay. Good. Okay, so this is, for example, you know, the paying attention to a specific information when we listen, right? In this case, the objective was to check or to detect what parts of the body these people hurt. Okay, so then this is when you have a, an issue with your body. Now we're gonna go so with some medications and after we go to the practice, okay? By the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems, okay? Then after this video, we're going to go to the groups and then you're going to say, for example, oh my God, I have a headache. And then you said, okay, you should take some aspirin or take some aspirin or uh, drink water or lie in bed for 10 minutes. Okay, so what are some home remedies? Okay, what are some uh, recommendations that sometimes we can give people when they feel bad, right? So then that's what we're going to practice. But first, let's watch the video. Pay attention to the pronunciation of this uh, medications. This is common medication, not complicated, right? Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of 
common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take. Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Aspirin. Medications. For health problems. Let's listen and practice. Okay. Common medications. Antacid. Say the first one is antacid. Okay, antacid, antacid. Okay, this is when you know sometimes when we eat some food, then we feel something wrong with our stomach or sometimes here in our throat, right? And then they, antacid works well, you know, to make to make you feel better, right? Antacid. The next one. Muscle cream. Okay, the muscle cream is when we overdo and do when we do more exercise than we should, and then a, our our muscle hurts, right? It can be uh, from the arm, or it could be in the legs, okay, or any muscle in the back, okay, sometimes in the here on the ribs and the sides. Okay, we need muscle cream. Aspirin. Then we have the aspirin. Cough syrup. Aspirin. Okay. The Tylenol too. Now we have Tylenol, aspirin. And then we have cough syrup. Okay. This is the other one. Cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. And then you have the cough syrup, right? <laughs> when you're feeling bad, then you can, you know, have some cough syrup, okay, and that will make you feel better. And then you also have the cough drops. Cough drops. Cough drops, you know, different flavors. In this case, it's cherry. It can be grapes. Cold pills. Eye drops. And then you have the cold pills, right? Cold pills. There are many different kinds of cold pills. This is when we have a cold, okay, when you have the runny nose and then you feel fever or a little bit temp a little bit of temperature, then we have cold pills. And then you have the eye drops, okay, the eye drops. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, Okay. Now oh, you can use this one. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take give as Okay, good. So look at this one. Whenever I have a headache. Right, whenever I have something. Okay, yes. Okay. Then, uh, you see, for example, the problem that you have. Uh, suppose I say, um, I, have a, I have a toothache. Okay, I have a toothache. Okay, so then uh, sometimes you can give a recommendation, okay? Why don't you, okay? Why don't you take, um, how do you call this one? Why don't you take um, 
Oh, I forgot the name of the pill is anadem. Okay, why don't you take a pill? Okay, why don't you take an anadem pill? Okay, it will make you feel better. Or this is one way, right? But sometimes people don't like uh, other people to tell them what to do. Okay, so we probably find another way which is more polite. Okay, more polite, more, more diplomatic, more cortes, right? And say, hey, I have a toothache. Oh, really? Whenever I have a, a toothache, you know, I take an anadem. Okay, but I do it with myself. Okay, so it's the same idea, but one is like, te digo que haces, and the other one is lo que yo haría, lo que yo hago. Okay, if you want to do it, it's your, uh, it's your choice. Okay, so this is, you know, these are ways to, let's say, to be, to be polite. Okay, to be polite in English and also in Spanish, it's the same, right? It's not the same when I say, toma esto, or when you say, for example, cuando yo estoy así, hago esto. Then sounds different. Then the one that we have in the video is whenever, whenever I have a headache, whenever I have a runny nose, when I have a, whenever I have a cold, whenever I have a cough, <laughs> then I take uh, this or I do this. For example, what is what is a home remedy? What is a home remedy that that you have when you have a cold? Or what do you, what do you do when your feet hurt? What do you do when your feet hurt? Yo corro más. I whenever drink aspirin. Okay, good, Claudia. Then whenever, whenever I uh, my feet hurt, I take an aspirin. Help, yeah, because it helps the circulation, right? Very good, nice. What else? Another opinion? What do you do when you feel hurt? Whenever, whenever I feel very My, tired. Okay. Uh huh. Very tired. I take. Uh, uh, how do you say relajante? A relax. A relax. Okay. Then. Uh. Then you say a muscle relaxing. A muscle. Uh, Muscle pill, muscle relaxing pill. Muscle relaxing pill. Okay. <laughs> Fit, muscle. Muscle. Ma muscle. Mas muscle. Ah, Ma muscle. Muscle. Uh -huh. Relaxing. Muscle. Relaxing. Pill. 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 Ah, okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Then, uh, Fernando, what do you do when you have a, a headache? If you ever get a headache. I don't know if you get sick. You are, you are so young people that I don't think you get sick, okay? I don't know, when I have a headache, I take a pill, right? Okay. Or I, I cook a, I don't know, a chicken soup, maybe? I don't know. Okay, good, that sounds good. Hey, that's a nice one, I like that one. Okay, chicken soup, yes, you know that sometimes you know, hot drinks also help for cold drinks, right? Like for example, put a piece, of, a piece of ice. They say that when we have a headache, it's good to, to smell citrix. You know, like orange, lemon, then when you smell the lemon, that refreshes also your, your brain, right? So, home remedies. Okay. And yes, teacher, a tea, uh, ver? drink a tea, tea of lemon. Ah, lemon tea, huh? Yes, uh -huh. some lemon tea. Yes, that helps also for the headache. Okay, good. Then, Go to the, we're gonna go to the group so that you can practice with, uh, with your partners and say, for example, uh, somebody says in the group, I have, okay, remember, I have plus a noun. I have a headache or oh, I feel sick. I feel terrible, okay? I feel, uh, well, I feel happy, it can be positive, I feel happy. And then the rest of the group or the other uh, participants will say, okay, whenever I feel happy, I go dancing. Uh, whenever I feel happy, I I go to the gym, okay? And then the other person say, okay, it sounds like a good idea. Whenever I feel happy, I visit my mother, okay? Because I am in a good mood. Then you just practice English, practice vocabulary, okay? And give uh, answers or solutions according to the topic, right? Good. Just let me see how many... 
how many members? <laughs> okay, yes. Now it's, somebody is reminding me about the, did you dream last night in English? Anybody, the homework? Nobody yet? Not yet. Okay, so we're going to continue with the homework for Monday. Okay, if somebody did, let me know. Okay, let's see the group. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups because we can have two or three participants per session. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Gabby, did you get the invitation? The invite? Yes. No. When I have a, a pain of my tooth, I eat ice cream. When you, have a, when you have a what? A tooth. A toothache? A tooth. Do you, you eat ice cream? Yes. Really? Any yes. words? Okay. Dicen que ayuda. Relado. No sé. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and you know that ha what happens is that sometimes some uh, some things work for you, but not for other people. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. That that of the, it, I think it depends on your um, on your body, right? On your reactions. Yes. Yes. For some people works, for some other people don't. Yeah, but uh, for example, when you go to the dentist and they extract, they take yes. out a uh, tooth. The for example, the ice cream is, is excellent, right? So, it's a good yes. medicine. The best medicine. Yes. Ah, yeah, that's the best medicine. And and you enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> and you also enjoy yes. it. Okay, Gabriel. And sometimes. Okay. Yes. No, tell me. Sometimes. Whenever I have a headache, I put some big on my head. <laughs> okay, yes. You know, my, uh, my wife does that. Okay. Yes. My mother also. It did works. It. My mother yes. also did it. Luckily, luckily in my case, I don't get headaches very often. But when I get a headache, in my case, I think it's because of the, the, the I need water. I drink water and then, or in a sleep a little bit, and then the headache disappears. Okay, Gabriela is here. I will let you continue practicing, people. Okay, see you mm -hmm. later. Roma, I take... Um... I forget. <laughs> the name. For example, whenever I have a uh, energy, I do exercise. Mm -hmm. That's good. 
That's that's very very good. That's the best moment to do exercise when you have a lot of energy. Excuse me. No, it's good. It's good when you have energy. It's the best yes. moment yes. to go to do exercise. You can go yes. <laughs> running, jogging to the gym, and you can do different physical activities, right? And then after that, you feel more, more energy. You feel very nice. Sometimes I am going to run. Uh huh. Exactly. That's good. So you know, jogging, running, then that is is good. Okay, great. Any questions, people? No problem. Uh, no. No. Okay. Excellent. So continue with the practice, please. I feel a full. A full. Um, well, I feel great. Uh, I have trope. Trope. Tro eh, de la garganta. Throw. Throw. Pain. Ah. A sore throat. You have a sore throat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a sore throat. What is the first word, teacher? Sore. Sorry. Sore? Sore. Uh -huh, sore. Yeah. Okay, look in the chat. Sore. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they say sore throat. Oh, they sore are... throat. Sore throat. Uh -huh. You say I have a sore throat. Oh. Okay, thanks, teacher. All right, you're welcome. No questions? No more questions? Um, no, sir. Okay. Thank you. Continue with the practice, okay? I take, uh, whenever I had it, I take. Teacher. Yes, teacher, sir. Teacher. Pero, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Acetaminophen. Es the same. Así, así. así. Yes. Solo la diferencia es que es con pH. PH, uh, acetaminophen, acetamin, 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 uh, whenever take a whenever, whenever what whenever I have whenever I have a I have a stomach a stomach ache, right uh, uh -huh. yes. whenever yes. I uh, I have a stomach, stomach I, I whenever I have a take a stomach no um, whenever. Whenever, Whenever I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. Uh -huh, okay. I um, take a... Um, Some pepto Pepto Okay, you know, when you have a. No me voy a decir alcalde. 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 Ah, no, 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 that one, no. Okay. But you know, stomach cake is a pain in your stomach, right? It's un dolor de estómago. It can be anything. T shirt. Uh -huh. T shirt. Yes. Um, so, so. Whenever. Mm -hmm. Whenever. I have. I have. Uh, uh, stomach take a bit of, bit of small. Yes, but you have to say, uh, we have a stomach take, I take. I take. Uh, I take. Stomach take, I take. Uh -huh, exactly. Bit of small. Okay. okay, repeat it. Repeat it again. Uh, uh, whenever. Uh, whenever, whenever, uh, stomach take a Beto is more. I take the to is more. Okay. Whenever I have a Stay. stomach ache, I take the to is more. Take a to is more. Take the, uh -huh. uh -huh. or, I, or I take the narcosensory. Okay. Good. 
Okay, people, continue with the practice. Okay, now let me see. I have to get to this group. Okay. And whenever I have a headset in, in the in the back. Uh, for example, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? Se me olvidó este. <laughs> Whenever I have a backache, mm -hmm. uh -huh, I, what? What do you do? I take? Sí, es que se, se, me, se me olvidó el, este nombre, el okay. medicamento. Okay. And then you say, I take a pill. Tomo una, me tomo una pastilla. I take a pill. You don't have to mm -hmm. say that. I take a pill, okay. I take a pill. Me tomo una pastilla. I take okay. a pill. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever I have a uh, elbow, I take cofal. Okay, I put on, I put on cofal. Okay, on. whenever uh -huh. whenever my eight, my elbow hurt, I put on cofal. I put on cofal. Yes. Whenever I, okay, yeah. sería, sería entonces, whenever I have, whenever I have a uh, elbow. No, I, whenever I have, or whenever uh -huh. my, my elbow hurts. Whenever my elbow hurts. Hurts. Mm -hmm. Okay. I put on some copal. Or you can say when I have a pain in my elbow. When I have okay. a pain in my elbow, I put on copal. Okay. Whenever my elbow, I put on copal. Yes. Whenever okay. I have a pain in my elbow, I put on cofal. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Well, continue. Okay. okay. Uh, con sueño. I, I don't know. Like, like. Uh, okay. Well, but when I feel lazy, I, I don't know. I used to do exercise, right? Ah, okay. Oh, I, I go to the gym. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or you take a, or you take a, a, a shower, a, a shower, but uh, with a cold water. Cold water. <laughs> cold yeah. water. Cold water. No, oh my God. <laughs> from the pila. That, that's impossible. The barril. <laughs> yeah, from the, from the barril too, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, but that's, that's impossible. That's, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, a, let's say a discipline, right? That when we feel lazy, when we feel, you know, like kind of uh, depressed or boring, you know, doing exercise yes. is the best solution. Uh, sure. okay. You go to the gym, you run, you go jogging. You, I mean, many things that you can do. Play games, but uh -huh. not video games. Uh -huh. Play, Play yeah. soccer, basketball, uh, oh, okay. basketball, yeah. Physical activity oh, to reactivate your metabolism, right? And then you uh, can, sure. And then you Real. feel then you feel better. Okay, good. For real. Now, questions? No, no questions. questions uh, medium, no problem? Questions. Okay, excellent. No problem, teacher. Very good. So then, uh, well, continue with the practice and I will visit okay. group number one and see what happens. Okay, teacher. Um, no se me ocurre nada más. We never... Whenever I feel tired, I sleep or take a nap. Um, no importa si es tarde, por la tarde cuando hace calor. It doesn't matter if it's late or hot. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's late. Usually in the afternoon I am working, so I only have the night to take a nap. <laughs> And to sleep. It's to sleep. <laughs> okay. 
Eh, whenever I feel eh, sad, I eat churritos. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's good. Yes, I like chicharra with lemon. Uh, yeah, I like it's good. <laughs> and I put more lemons. Okay, yes. Ah, uh, yes. It's good to reactivate. Yes, it does with lemon. Yes, uh -huh, to reactivate. Or, or, you know, there is another one, elotitos. The elotitos, uh, they are very hard. Then, uh, yes, very uh, hard. Or taquitos, too. There's another one. Taquitos. Thank you. Uh, taquitos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to get hungry. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Adios. <laughs> okay. Two groups here. Okay. This was the practice for, you know, the feelings, body parts. And I don't know if now that you were practicing, do you still have another uh, question? ¿Les quedó alguna duda de algo, de alguna pronunciación, vocabulary? No? Okay. All right. So then, uh, now we're going to go back to the to the platform. Oh, by the way, any questions about the platform? Any problems? Van al día ya la contestaron todos. No han tenido algún inconveniente. No. Okay. Good. Then we're going to go back. Uh, but before. But I cannot see everybody in the group. I want to take the. Vamos a pasar la lista aquí ahorita. Wait a minute, that my computer knows that today is Friday. Okay, now yes. So we have this one. No more and that's it. Okay, people, good. Now we're going to go back to the platform and continue with the next topic. This is activity. Share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So then in the next one, we have the, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use 
positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice conversation with illustrates. Okay, for example, uh, sorry, which illustrate uh, how this topic is used in real life setting. So the important thing here is this. Use how to use positive and negative imperatives. Okay, what is an imperative? These are verbs, okay, action verbs. What kind of verbs? Verbs that um, sometimes we use to give orders, to give commands, to give um, a instructions, a, to give also a, what else? advice, advice, como consejo, right? Or also a, to give some warnings, okay, advertencias. So then we use imperative there in different ways. Depends, it depends how we use it in our, let's say our tone, depend on tono, right? The connotation. Okay, that will sound like an order, it will sound like an advice or something. For example, if you go to the doctor because you feel bad, the doctor will tell you, take a rest. Is that an order, an advice, uh, an instruction? Uh, what is this? Or probably a, a command? What it is? What is it? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, for example, you must uh, go to the doctor. You must. Uh -huh, but that's an obligation. Okay, that's uh, an obligation. It's obligation. This case uh, okay. is, is only the verb. For example, mm -hmm. uh, go to the doctor. Okay, if okay. I said, if you tell me, okay, I, uh, I feel bad. I feel, I don't know, I feel weird. I feel something bad. And then the person can say, go to the doctor then is it an order suena como orden no como consejo go to the doctor yeah okay advice an advice right huh? advice consejo right it's an advice but if i say ah me duele la cabeza no puedo tomar okay come on man go to the doctor y ahí como suena Right, so that's the connotation. That's why they call them imperatives, right? Because here we only use the verb. For example, what Miriam says is, is correct when you say you must go to the doctor because it's a necessity, it's a need, it's an obligation, okay? For example, uh, if you are uh, having, uh, let's say eating problems, Problemas de alimentación, they say, hey, you must eat. You must eat. It's necessary. Okay. Then, uh, and then you can use that one. But see the video and you will see other examples using imperative verbs. You use the verb at the beginning, no subject. Okay. No subject. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates a conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever... I don't know. 
Okay, before you continue, just look in the conversation. For example, uh, here says, how are you today? Uh, not so good. I mean, so-so, okay? What's wrong? What's the problem? Exactly, okay? What's the problem exactly? I am exhausted. Exhausted is more than tired. More than tired. Tired is okay, but exhausted is, right? So no more. Go to bed. Okay, I'm going to rest. Um, why are you so tired? That's why it says so tired. Okay, I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, so this is a stress problem, right? Okay, let's take a look. Then here says, I'm going to give you some pills. And here's one. Look, take one pill every night after dinner. That's part of the instructions of the doctor to the patient, right? Take one pill. No, you take. And don't. Negative. Negative, but it's a good advice. Okay? And don't drink coffee. Don't drink tea. Don't drink soda. Okay? Don't go to this doctor. Okay? Don't go to this doctor. Because I say, no, you have to drink coffee. No problem. Okay? Coffee is a good medicine. <laughs> I love coffee. That's why. They say, uh, don't drink coffee, but it's negative, right? Don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, don't drink soda. But you can say, it's the same idea. Don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, take and so. Anything else? Yes, another negative. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Okay, you can see in the conversation, the use of imperative forms. Don't work, don't drink, take one. Okay, now continue. Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates a conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary then a compliment. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The compliment is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus compliment. Don't. Work is the verb and the compliment too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, Take cup syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so you see, this is uh, how to use the imperatives. Okay, questions? About imperatives? Okay, now we're going to go back. Okay, listen. So we are in this group one, two, three, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen in this moment. Okay, now we're going to make one round of imperative uh, verbs with sentences. Okay, but you cannot repeat the verbs. 
Okay, we're gonna use, you're gonna tell me a sentence using imperatives, but we cannot repeat the verbs. So you're going to see now, for example, that we are going to use 17 different verbs, okay? Now, 16, because somebody left, somebody disappeared in this moment. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's see. I say the first one, for example, okay, uh, let me see. Take a shower every day. Okay, this is my advice for everybody, right? Take a shower every day. I use my sentence, my verb is take. Now, the rest, you have to tell me a sentence, but nobody can use take anymore, okay? Good. Now, let's see, I'm gonna start, a, let me see, Rodrigo, tell me a number from one to 15. Um, seven. Seven, okay, good. Jerry, left. Or right? Right. Right, okay. Uh, Miriam, my, mine or yours? Can you repeat, teacher, please? My, mine or yours? One word, just one word. Mine or yours? Okay. Yours? Yours, okay. Then, yours, this is me, okay? Uh, Jerry says right, this is my right, okay? And Rodrigo said number seven, okay? Then I'm going to count seven, and this is gonna be the first person. Evelyn, number one, Jerry, number two, Fernando, number three, Judith, number four, Evelyn, number five, Rodrigo, number six, and Claudia, Patricia, you're number seven. So, you begin, okay? Now you are the second one, you're the lucky one. Tell me a sentence, dígame una oración using imperative. No voy a usar take. take. No voy a usar take. Bring a coffee. Ah, okay, very good, that's nice. Bring a coffee, okay, bring a coffee. All right. Okay. Oh, but that was Evelyn. Evelyn was speaking. Okay, good. No problem. Okay, Evelyn. Now, uh, let's see. We're gonna start with Miriam. Miriam, bring uh, take no. No, no, no. You walk every day. Uh, no, you only. Oh, okay, okay. Repeat. Okay. Uh... The, same, <laughs> the same the same sentence, but not you. Okay. Walk, walk every day. Okay, that's it, walk every day. Okay, everybody, walk every day, very good. Okay, Evelyn, Evelyn Mariela. Uh, try to eat healthy. Try to eat healthy, very good, excellent. Oh, eat healthy. Here. No, it's okay. Eat, okay, eat healthy or try to eat healthy, the two are correct, okay? Okay, everything let's keep over, okay? So then we have to use bring, we can use uh, walk, we can use eat, and we can uh, use also try. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay. <laughs> now, Yeri. Um, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Only that. <laughs> You know, it's, it's excellent. You say, wake up. Come on, everybody. Wake up. Okay. <laughs> Good. Nice. Uh, Fernando. Uh, don't watch scary movies. Don't watch scary movies. Good. Especially at night. Okay. Good. You did. Brush your teeth. Excuse me? Brush your teeth. Excellent. Brush your teeth. Yes. Uh, Evelyn again. Evelyn Elizabeth. Evelyn Marila, no, because she says two birds at once. Cook uh, sometimes. Cook sometimes, okay, cook sometimes, good. Rodrigo? I study a lot of. Yeah, uh, study, study a lot. Much, I don't know. Study a lot. A lot, 
Okay. Ah, you say study a lot. Very good. Nice sentence. Okay, good. Claudia? Your microphone, Claudia. I study, study uh, a lot. Of I study a lot. That's why, but you cannot use yes. study because Rodrigo said study. You have to use another verb. I am. No, without I. I runners. I runners. Um, a lot. I, okay, run a lot. I run, run a lot. Okay, yes. Run a lot. This one. Run a lot. Okay, Ismael. I clean my house. Clean my okay. Clean my house. Okay, in the house. Okay, clean my house. I clean the house. Good. Excellent, Emma. Okay. Stay away. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay, esto es cuando se le acerca un mal, no casi con cara de malo, right? A bad face. Okay, okay, stay away. Okay, don't get close. For to the pandemic, good. teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> oh yes, that's true. Okay, good. Yes, it says stay away. Okay, I am healthy. Okay, good. So stay away. You see, uh, it's very good because uh, Jerry says wake up. Uh, uh, Emma says stay away. Only the action, yes, una frase, que es una orden, un comando, un favor, right? Stay away, please. Y si le ponen el please, lo hacen como más suave, right? Hey, stay away, please. Manténgase a la distancia, please, right? Or you can say, wake up, please, okay? Despierte, por favor. Pon atención. Pay attention, it's another one. <laughs> okay, the other one is a stop. Okay, don't do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, Fernando, Fernando Bermúdez. Okay, yes. I'm Tell here. Me. No, but the other Fernando. Or it's oh, okay. Same, right? Fernando Bermudez. No, it's not listening. Okay, Fernando Joaquin, tell me another. Tell me another sentence. Open the, the door. Open the door. Okay, yes. Gabriela. Close the window. Close the window. Gabi? Beatriz? Ms. Ramirez? No. Dijo mi nombre. Yes. I say Ms. Ramirez, Gabriela, yes, 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 Gabi, your turn. <laughs> Dígame una oración. Mm. Mm, I study every night. Okay, study every night would be study. good. But, I study uh, every night. Rodrigo used the word. Creo que es una, como una, un consejo para alguien, right? Como que yo les he dicho, dream in English. Okay, that's another one. Dream in English. Every day. Okay, so it's a, una oración imperativa. Comienza con el verbo. Okay, for example, you can say, uh, write, write in English. Keep your agenda in English. Okay, that's another, that's right. a mm -hmm. Write in English. Okay, thank you, Gabby. Natalie, and then Azucena, and we'll finish this round. Use the mask. Repeat. Use the mask. Use the mask. Okay, yes. Use the mask or wear a mask. The two, no problem. Use the mask. Okay, or wear the mask. Okay. Thank you. Susana. Don't work tomorrow. Don't work tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay, rest all day. Okay, so you see, we used uh, more than 17 verbs because uh, some of you gave me more examples and that's good. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then this is a nice practice for practice, uh, for learning verbs. Remember that it's very important to learn verbs, adjectives, to increase vocabulary, okay? To use different vocabulary every day. 
and not to use the same verbs all the time, okay? Because we repeat only work, only work, only study, work, study, work, study, eat. So then we only have a three word language, a three verbs language, right? But it's not a three verb language. There are thousands of options. Okay, people, that's uh, all for today. Have a very nice weekend, rest. Okay, may God bless you and have a good night and see you on Monday, okay? Monday. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks Thank you, you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night, Miriam. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. See you on Monday, Monday. yes.